Today, we will be focusing on DME emails. DME has full support for Microsoft Exchange, IBM Domino, and Microsoft Office 365 within the container. Click on the email icon. You will be presented with a visual representation of your inbox. The number of emails you see depends entirely on your choice and is configurable from the DME options. With visual aesthetics in mind, you can see your unread emails, high important, emails with attachments, and emails you've replied to. And if you can't find an email you're looking for, the handy search bar at the top will allow you to auto-complete and auto-filter any emails from the searches you type in. Here we're typing in Yan. If I don't find the email I'm looking for in the list there, I can click the button to search on the server, which will initiate a search back on the mailbox on the server. As users would expect, swiping across an email allows you to delete the, a single email. Alternatively, clicking on the edit button at the top will allow you to select multiple emails at a time, and with the contextually specific toolbar at the bottom, you can delete, move emails to a folder, mark them as read or flagged. With the button in the middle, you can also change the sorting order of emails according to your preference. DME comes built in with full support for your subfolders, including the synchronization of system folders. In this case, my support cases folder, if I click on that, it contains emails that I've chosen to synchronize. But if I go back and go to the Oracle folder, you'll see there's no emails in there. One of the powers of DME is giving users the ability to choose what they require when they require it. In this case, you can go to the support cases folder and choose to specifically synchronize four days worth of emails. However, in the Oracle folder, because I don't need access to this on the move, I cannot choose to synchronize this folder. Including in MailScan allows you to replicate Outlook rules and alerts. So if you have a rule that forwards an email to a particular folder, it will be represented in DME. Back to the inbox. If we click on a particular email, you will see all of the feature-rich information inside an email. Clicking on the Details button will show you exactly who is part of the email. And within the chain, you will see a full HTML-rich content-based email. This includes the full history. Of course, being HTML, this also includes inline images, as you can see here. As you can also see, the full history of this email is very, very easy to have a look at. Within the email, the contextually spe specific toolbar at the bottom allows you to delete the email, mark the email as read, unread, or flagged, move the email to a particular subfolder, or with the handy arrow on the right, reply, reply all forward, or very cleverly, create a meeting. This will auto-populate all of the fields of the meeting, including the subject, and the recipients. The moment you click save, a calendar invite will get sent over to these users with the information populated. If we take a look at viewing attachments, we go back to an email with the paperclip icon that's familiar to users. We click on the icon there and we're able to download the attachment. DME does not download the attachment until a user clicks to specifically download it. Please refer to the attachment video for more information. When it comes to composing an email, DME is very clever in that it uses a cache-based system based on people you have recently emailed or people who have recently emailed you. In this case, you can type out the email for it to be pre-populated. The power of DME comes from the ability to also search your global address book. And this is applicable for the two CC and BCC fields. You can type in a subject, as you would expect. And creating an email is very simple. This includes feature-rich HTML capabilities, as you can see in this video. DME allows you to specify your own custom signature, which you can do so from the options within the DME client. You can also specify the importance of the email 
as well as use encryption and signing capabilities if you're using S-MIME encryption for Microsoft Exchange. When it comes to attachments, DME allows you to attach from your camera library, that's including all the pictures you've recently taken. DME also allows you to add an image to the email without it saving to the phone, as you can see here. You can specify the size as well. And finally, DME allows you to select attachments that are currently in your inbox. This can include Word documents, PDFs that's been sent from other people. Clicking cancel allows you to save or discard the draft. And when you go back to the DME home screen, we'll now take a look at the unread icon, which is exactly the same as the email, but is a very clever way for you to work towards your email efficiency. This will filter emails even from subfolders. Thanks for watching.